Hello, I'm Tim Black. You're tuning in to Tim's Take Live News for the People. Tony Robinson was a 19-year-old young man in Wisconsin who got high. Now, saying he got high is an understatement. Tony was out of his mind. Four calls came in, four 911 calls, all reporting that Tony was running in the street. He'd get been, been hit by a car, but didn't seem to be hurt that he was attacking people. He punched a couple people in the face. He attempted to choke someone. Um, and all of them reported that Tony was on some type of drug and he was flipping out. He was on drugs, maybe mushrooms. They actually said he's on mushrooms. He's out of his mind. He's going crazy. Unfortunately for Tony, one of the officers who responded or the officer, the first to respond was Matt Kinney. Now, Matt Kinney, he arrived on the scene, went into the building where Tony had holed up. You know, Tony was in there banging on the wall or something to that effect. But no one really knows what happened inside that apartment building. What we know was seconds later, Tony Robinson was shot seven times from close range by Officer Kinney. Officer Kinney says he was hit upside the head, knocked against the wall. He was afraid that the dangerous Tony Robinson was going to overcome him, take his gun, and proceed to shoot people. Um, these are He feared for life. That's why he shot Tony Robinson seven times from close range. Okay, so, look guys, I'm, I'm trying to figure out why we sent one officer. Why? What what are we trying what were we trying to accomplish by sending one officer to deal with some someone that we know is on some form of narcotic and acting out of his mind? Also trying to figure out who exactly was Tony Robinson? Was he the Hulk? Because why else would you shoot someone seven times? Who survived getting shot seven times? They shot 50 Cent five times. You shot this young man. Seven times from closed, close quarters. Seven. Look, I'm sorry, guys, but if you shoot someone seven times, that's not a shooting. That's a hit. And that's what we did here. That's what he did. Um, it'd probably be a surprise for most of you to know this happened in March. And since March... There have been there has been protesting in Wisconsin, particularly in Madison, Wisconsin. But you hadn't heard of it more than likely because there's been no rioting, there's been no looting, there's been no violence. But do you see how it works? When things are civil, you don't even hear about it. Because the media, outside of the local media, does not cover cases that are peaceful. Just a little something to put in your memory bank. Ismail Ozone, Ozang, Ozang, I don't know, he's the, uh, I guess he's the prosecuting attorney for Madison who decided not to press charges against Kenny. He says that Kenny, Kenny shot because he was protecting the public. He feared for his life. He was also protecting Tony Robinson, which I find crazy as hell. Look, man, if shooting me seven times is your way of protecting me, please don't protect me. What happened here was a kid got high. When I say high, I don't just mean high. He was on mushrooms, weed, and Xanax. And Officer Kenny, being the type of officer Officer Kenny is, dealt with it the way Officer Kenny does. Just mediocre damn police. Just bad police work. The decision to send one officer in a building to deal with a kid that we know is on drugs and out of his mind doesn't make sense to me. Could he have, could the officer had used non-lethal force? Yeah. If he would have waited and took someone with him, yeah, he sure could have. He sure could have used non-lethal force on this one kid. But, or young man because he was 19. But he went in alone, 
He got scared and he shot him seven times and that's a wrap. I blame Matt Kenny for shooting. Tony Robinson, don't get me wrong, but I also blame the people in that neighborhood who say they knew Tony Robinson, but they didn't stop this tragedy before it happened. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking to you. See, if you call law enforcement on a friend, you're putting him in harm's way. I know you don't like hearing it, and I know it doesn't help you much, but it's for other people out there to know. When you phone law enforcement about a friend of yours who was acting erratic or doing something crazy, how many times have you got to hear it to know that there's a possibility the officers are going to shoot him? He didn't have a gun. He was unarmed. Then why didn't you go get him? That's just a question. That's something we got to consider. And I know, I know it's a bad time to say it, but it needs to be said because my videos stay online forever. So if you have a friend who's high on drugs, think before you call. Know that if you call police over him grabbing you up or touching you or pushing you, that there's a possibility that they're going to show up and they're not going to feel like, they're not going to love your friend. They're not going to be dealing with him with kid gloves. They're going to look at him as aggressive. And who knows what form of force they may apply in trying to apprehend him. All right, I need you guys to, to work with me. This is the People's News Channel. I'm Tim Black. I need you to share this content with someone that you know is watching regular news and so they can get some different news, which is the people's news. Hit subscribe for more of Tim Black, Tim's Take Live, and Tim the Bartender.